you pick up on a vibe. It's just, it's palpable. As soon as you get here, it's like, something is moving here, there's a spirit here. It immediately started manifesting in songs and, and rhythms. As I was playing, I was like, how am I doing this? Those kind of things are huge landmarks, you know, that say there's a vibe or a spirit here that's, that's trying to make its way out through us musicians. And it wasn't so much about, we're going to go down to New Orleans and go get a bunch of New Orleans musicians and make a record that sounds like we went down to New Orleans. It wasn't about that. It was about getting out of Tucson to do something different and immersing ourselves in another city that had, had a musical heritage and a culture that we could let that energy sort of get into our project. But it's not in a way that you're going to say like, oh yeah, there's the you know there's a second line beat there, or there's the tuba, um, you know. And, and I think the subtlety is a big part of what we do. This record still kind of is in the world of our aesthetics. I, I always feel like musicians are a, a certain kind of antenna that we we pick up on things um, that we're not even aware of sometimes consciously. Mm -hmm and uh, it comes out subconsciously through, through the music. And Joey was talking a little earlier about the tragedy that happened in Tucson. And I mean, there's tragedies all, all over the world that happen. And um, it always seems like art or music or uh, filmmakers, or some form of art goes to that tragedy. And there's healing that happens. I always feel like that's a, a part of our job as musicians, is to, is to get down there where, where things are hurting. I know people can look at something like Calexico and sort of poo-poo us a little bit, like, well, who are these white guys, you know, co-opting this name of this town and doing this sort of, you know, Mexican-infused music, but if you know Tucson and you know us, it makes perfect sense because we embrace where we live and we don't, we want it, we want it to be a great place. And it, and it hurts us that, you know, where we live and where we care about is, is looked at in a certain way because somehow, you know, we're this, you know, nexus of all these problems. And in the last, it seems like, what, eight years or so, there's been this wedge that's trying to be driven between us, like us and them. And, you know, whatever we can do to stop that. And I know, and, and, and the music just becomes a part of that. So it's important that this record has those themes. It's important that it's dark, because it's a dark time, you know? And the only way we come to the light is sometimes to recognize what's wrong and what we can do to change it. Still is my own fault just to see. I opened the fire. Now these crystal fields are wet. If you put me in the studio, it's going to take me a long time to start coming up with notes. It just is. It's just the way I work. I, I work better off of someone starting and then I respond. Me too. <laughs> so I think, you know, I, and I think that's the, the beauty of, of our, you know, dynamic of, of working as a rhythm section or as a writing uh, team, you know, we bounce ideas off each other. Yeah, it's, it's all dialogue, it really is. You, know, you start with a word and you respond to that word. It just keeps going back and forth. And, and I know for me, at some point, I just have to just stop and, and let other things happen. Just allow them to happen, because if I, if I keep pushing for my idea, it's gonna, it's gonna squish it. record too, uh, I wanted to get some help on, on the lyrics and, and John was willing and came up with some beautiful lyrics for songs like Solstice of a Vanishing Mind and, uh, and Para. And uh, they're, they're fantastic lyrics. And so that was a lot of fun to kind of open the door and say, hey, you know, I need some help. What do you got? And he came up with some great, great lines.
my favorite songs that I've been really enjoying on this record that we kind of mentioned earlier, Sinner or Sinner in the Sea. Um, just the fact that I can make a musical bridge between New Orleans and Havana, and having been to both cities and loving both you know, uh, music scenes for many years means a lot to me. And I think um, you know, it's a great live performance, and I think uh, having played it now just one time in Tucson a couple months ago, live, I think it's going to be a great song to take on tour and see where it's going to go. What I 